Welcome to another Sidra Intersection 8 tutorial. In this video, we'll explore the root tab of the Sidra Intersection 8 user interface. Please make sure to watch the other videos in this series. We have given links to these in the description section on YouTube for this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. Now let's begin. For demonstration purposes, we will be using a project with networks and routes already configured. How to define routes in a network will be shown in a different video. Let's first select a network with routes from the list in the network's list pane. Then click the Root tab to explore the contents of the project pane and the Root ribbon commands. The Root tab allows you to specify a number of routes in the selected network. A route is defined as a series of movements in one direction of travel from site to site to include at least two movements that belong to two separate sites. The Root tab ribbon consists of Root, Root Setup, and Root Output command groups. The selected network is shown at the top of the project pane on the left. The Routes section below the selected network bar displays all routes that belong to the network. Select a route by clicking the route name in the Routes section. The route name will be highlighted with a checkbox shown and will appear in the selected route bar above the route input section. The layout button in the route group in the ribbon will open a tabbed route layout display for the selected route in the display pane. Use the zoom slider to zoom in and out of the display. You can also click the zoom size value shown on the right-hand side of the zoom slider to open the zoom dialog box and specify your preferred zoom size. Double-clicking a root name will select the root and open the root layout display. The root setup group in the ribbon displays the commands to add a new root, reverse the direction of an existing root and add as a new root, or clone the selected root, or import a root from another network. Use the Move Up, Move Down, and Delete commands to organize the routes in the Routes section of the project pane. You can right-click the root name in the Routes section, or click the right arrow on the selected root bar to access various functions that apply to the selected root. To access various root functions applicable at the network level, you can click the right arrow on the selected network bar, which displays the network name. The Root Input section under the selected root bar in the project pane includes root data and root configuration dialogs. Clicking an input dialog in the root input section of the project pane will open the dialog for data entry for the selected root. The root data dialog allows you to specify various root input parameters. You can change the root name in the root data dialog. An open dialog must be closed before opening another dialog. Click Cancel or press Escape to close an input dialog without any changes, or click OK to accept the changes and close. If you want to make changes to an existing route, select the route and open the Route Configuration dialog. The Movements on Route section on the left pane of the Route Configuration dialog will list the sites and movements that are included on the route. Remember to save your project frequently, as the project file is not saved automatically when the changes are made. Processing a network will produce all necessary output statistics for all sites and movements relevant to all routes defined for the network. If the network has already been processed, the root output reports and displays in the root output group in the ribbon and site output reports and displays for all sites on the route in the site output for route section of the project pane 
will be available as soon as a root has been created. This applies to all roots created using the root setup commands. You can select several roots. In this case, the selected root bar and the sections of the project pane below it will be empty. These sections are available only when a single root is selected. When you make input data changes in the root data dialog, or make changes to an existing root in the root configuration dialog and click OK or Apply, all relevant output reports and displays for all routes will be updated automatically if the network has already been processed. If the network has not been processed, the site output for root section will contain only the diagnostics report, and the root output commands in the ribbon will be blocked. Use the Process Network command for the output reports and displays to be available. Defining or changing a route will not alter the network results unless the route is subsequently used for signal offset calculations for networks with coordinated signals. Signal offset calculations will be discussed in a separate video. One or more sites can be selected in the Sites on Route section. When an output report or display command is clicked in the Root Output group of the ribbon or in the Site Output for Root section of the project pane, the corresponding tabbed displays will appear in the display pane. All reports and displays opened under the Root tab have a gold header color that can be distinguished from red and green header colors used for reports and displays for sites and networks. Root Travel Performance Report is particularly useful for assessing and calibrating the model based on measured travel time and other Root Travel Performance measures. Root displays and lane displays for routes are similar to those for networks, except that only the output statistics for movements, approaches, or sites on the route are shown in color. Time distance display presents valuable information about signal coordination quality for the selected route. You can right-click any route output report or display area to open a menu, which will allow you to access the route input dialogs and various other commands. This concludes our tutorial on the Route tab in Sidra Intersection 8. To learn more, please refer to the User Guide, Glossary, Help System in the software, and other tutorials. Thank you for watching.